on guys welcome back to the channel my name is tyler i also go by the geode cracker and collector and today we have got a very interesting video one that i think some people may enjoy one i've always been curious about we are going to be testing these things out right here so past black friday i snagged a couple of these these are just the break open two geodes made by national geographic Got a couple of those, and then we got this eyeball here. Unbelievable science kit. This one I picked up at five below for five dollars. So, what we've got inside of the five below kit, we've got some bitty safety goggles. And here we are, these are our five. One, <laughs> two, <laughs> it's so tiny, three, four, <laughs> and those are the five from that kit. And now, let's crack open one of these guys here. Instructions and a learning guide. That will come in handy if you're not familiar with what a geo is. Oh, this is a little fancier. We got a nice little stand there and a magnifying glass to check out what's inside. And here we are. Geo mine. These look a little more promising than the, uh, the random kit from. <laughs> from five below. We've got a Moroccan geode, it looks like here. It's gonna be funky. And we've got a very interesting looking one here with some pink on it. Same thing, we've got another guide. We've got some more goggles. And another little cool stand and magnifying glass. Geode mine. Not sure what mine these are coming from. Another Moroccan looking geode. And another one that looks like it might be something. So I'm going to switch this blade out before we can do anything, but I'm going to do that right now. And there we go. It's, uh, start with these little guys from the, the five below kit. What I'm going to be using today to cut these is a 10 inch slab saw that is made by the company High Tech Diamond. You can see right there. I'm going to drop a link to that company down in the description of this video below. I'm sponsored and I'm also an affiliate of the company. So if you guys are curious about the equipment, ask any questions because I've got this piece of equipment from them. I've got one of their flat laps as well. I love everything about both of those pieces of equipment. They're fantastic. Perfect for beginners and perfect for any rock lover that wants to get into cutting and polishing and things like that. So if you guys are looking for some equipment, be sure to check out their website. Like I said, it's going to be down in the description below, hightechdiamond.com. Be sure to use promo code GCC at checkout. You will see 10% off your order. That does not include the purchase of machines, unfortunately, but it will go towards any accessories, blades, polishing pads, and things like that. So definitely worth the investment. But let's get right into cutting some of these little geodes we have here from unbelievable science kit. We're gonna start with this little guy right here, which is pretty light, so I think we might actually have a geode. Right. Number one is done. I'm just gonna zip through these real quick. We're gonna do this one next. Number two. All right, 
Number three coming up. Or no, that was number four. Here's number five. get into cutting the ones from the National Geographic kit. Um, I did not mention yet, but what I'm also going to do um, is I'm going to be polishing these things up in a later video, and that one is actually going to be my first official polishing video that I put out, which will be coming soon once I hit 900 subscribers. That video will be coming out, so be excited for that because I'm excited to finally start pumping out some polishing content aside from my live streams. You guys have seen me polish before. But this video is going to be a little, a little bit different. So, that being said, let's get into cutting. I'm going to do the two ones that I think are from Morocco. And then we'll do these two last. But, here we go. Here we go. The funky looking one first. Graphic. What do you expect in somebody to do just cracking something like this? <laughs> Not the right shape. Number two from the National Geographic kit. Alright. I'm going to start off with this guy first. Check these suckers out. my tripod over we're gonna sit at the desk we're gonna open these up for the first time I'm not gonna peek at them and we're gonna see them all together for the very first time so that's gonna happen right now all right guys here we are at the table we've got the ones back here are from the National Geographic kit and the ones right here are from the unbelievable science kit so we cut the unbelievable science geodes first so these are the ones that we are going to start off with and let's see what we have got. So not too bad, you guys are going to see some close-ups of these. Very nice, nice and hollow, just appears to be some quartz in there. I believe we've got a little baby Moroccan geode there. mostly solid we do have a little bit of what looks like maybe some chalcedony inside of there Let's see the close-ups Nice 
and quartz, often found inside of Moroccan geodes. Very nice. I am impressed. We've got some agate going on inside of here. We've got some very interesting quartz. Jersey quartz. Got some really interesting formations inside of there. We'll definitely get some close ups of these as well. Shabby. Let's see the last one from the Unbelievable Science Kit. Oh, wow. Very, very pretty. Might have a little bit of aragonite hanging out in there. Definitely have to bust out the, the UV light at the end and we'll check these all out in the UV light. So now, let's see what's going on inside of these ones. I want to start with this crazy guy. Big old Moroccan geode, I'm pretty sure. Wow, look at that. So not a huge cavity in that. Should still take a very nice polish. Next one, I also believe, is going to just have some quartz. Yep. Also appears to be from Morocco. All right. Let's see what's going on inside of this pink one here. This one was really solid, so I don't know. It's either going to be like agate, which I don't know, or I don't know. This was kind of making me think. This was making me think granite with the way that was looking. So let's just see what's inside. Let's just try to wipe that off a little bit. Agate in there, it looks like. It's very interesting. Very interesting indeed. And last but not least, I'm excited about this one. This one felt super, super hollow. This one looks like I would I would guess this is from Mexico. Maybe a, a sugar geode. Oh wow. Yep, it's a sugar geode. Look at those points in there. Okay, 
can't tell. I don't know if that's dog tooth calcite. Well, uh, definitely need to check that out under the ultraviolet light. So as mentioned, we are gonna check these things out with the UV light. So flip that one off, put this one on. All right. So where do we start? Let's start down here. This is the, the flat one. Lots of calcite in there, I'm, I think. There's a lot of calcite in the rinds of these uh, Moroccan ones. All the ones that I think are from Morocco are pretty much glowing. Check the little one. That's pretty cool. All right. That's another one I suspect. From Morocco. See all that calcite in the rind. You can see the crystals themselves aren't glowing, it's just that rind. And typically in geodes, that outer layer will form first, and it'll often have calcite in it. Same thing we can see here, the rind glows a little bit. Not really the crystals very much. Wow. So... This is the one that I believe is the sugar geode. So I think this is from Mexico. Look at that crazy green. Holy moly. That is crazy. <laughs> Look how cool that is. Wow. That is awesome. This is the other one I believe is from Mexico. Like the thunder egg looking. So that, that must be agate in there because that agate that's inside here is glowing green as well. That's really cool. Super awesome. Got some calcite in the exterior of this one, it looks like. Maybe a couple eyes of chalcedony hiding in there. We've got this big. Moroccan one, look at all that calcite in there. Counterparts the, pretty much the same way. Really cool. And lastly, we've got this crazy looking thing. Look at all those eyes and stuff in there glowing. Lots of calcite and stuff. Super cool. All right, let's get back to the video super cool guys i hope you've enjoyed this little video that i put together here this learning experience for all of us just putting to the test the national geographic crack your own geodes and the hidden geode excavation kit from unbelievable science um 10 out of 10 i would uh i would recommend it um Honestly, I'm blown away at the quality that was inside of the Unbelievable Science Kit. First off, I've never heard of it. Um, second off, I found it at Five Below. Third off, they didn't look all that great, but I would say this was the only one that was really a flop, but I think that's gonna be really pretty once it's polished up, so. That being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to drop a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you're new to the channel if you guys want to see more videos like this let me know throw out some ideas of different kinds of kits or products related to geology and rocks specifically geodes <laughs> things that you want to have me test out you know things that you might want to see paisley's reactions to um please let me know down in the comment section below and be sure to keep an eye out for when we polish up all of these geodes because that is going to be a really really awesome video and it's coming up soon because we are only 39 subscribers away from reaching 900 so thank you guys so much have a happy and safe new year's my friends i will see all of you in 2022 have a great day